Well, praise the name of the Lord. I want to take just a few minutes of your time today to talk to you about God's plan of salvation. You know, many people are walking to and fro in this last day, and, and Daniel even asked God, he said, God, when's the end coming? When's time going to come to the end as we know it? And in and Daniel chapter 12, uh, verse 4, he said, when knowledge is on the increase, when people are getting wiser and wiser, and when people are traveling to and fro, he said, that's when the end times are going to come. And if you notice today, knowledge is on the increase. You can buy a computer no bigger than a, the, pen, uh, the head of a needle, and by tomorrow, it's outdated. It's too big. They've got something smaller carrying all the information. But, uh, and of course, people are traveling to and fro. You can have breakfast in New York, lunch in California, and supper in Japan. Uh, so you can go around the world in just one day uh, or less. And so uh, I want to talk to you about the fact that Christ is about to come. And, you know, the Bible clearly tells us in Romans 3.23, the Bible tells us that for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. All sin. Every one of us have sinned. Uh, but in Romans uh, 6.23, the Bible says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So all of us have sinned, and, and those joining by uh, the Internet or by television, uh, you have sinned, I have sinned, and all of us have come short of the glory of God. And the wages is death, and, you know, it's appointed once for man to die, and after the death, the judgment. Uh, and so we know that, but the Bible clearly tells us also that uh, we have to have a Redeemer, and Jesus Christ is that Redeemer. He's the only way that we can get to heaven. And, and I'm telling you this just, just as straightforward as I can. If you're not born again, your final destination is to spend eternity in hell. Hell is real. And it's full of people today that we're going to get saved next week or next month or next year. Uh, they, some of them are planning on getting next Sunday morning. I'm going to go to church and give my life to Jesus. It doesn't work that way. The Bible clearly tells us uh, in, in John fourteen six, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. The only way you can make it to heaven is through Jesus Christ. You can't make it any other way. And Jesus also tells us in John six forty four that no man can come unto me except the Father which has sent me draw him. You have to be drawn by the Holy Spirit. And faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. You have to hear about Jesus. You have to hear the Word of God before you can be placed under conviction to where you can repent of your sins because repentance has to come from the heart. And so faith in Jesus Christ comes by hearing the Word of God, hearing the message of God preached under the anointing. And when you have heard the Word of God and it pierces your heart, then you want to repent because you have a fear of spending eternity in hell. But until the time that the Holy Ghost deals with your heart, you don't have that fear. Uh, you know that hell is there. You've heard it, hell was there. But you're not concerned about it because your flesh is what you're following and not your spirit. But once the Holy Spirit convicts your heart, then uh, the Bible tells us in Ephesians 2.8, it says, by, For by grace are you saved through faith. Uh, and, and that not of yourselves, it's the gift of God. It's not of works, lest any man should boast. You cannot work your way in. You can't buy your way in. It's the gift of God, eternal life. You're saved through, uh, by the grace of God, through faith in Jesus Christ. And then in Romans 10, 9, and 10, Paul writes and tells us, For if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. You've got to confess with your mouth and believe in your heart, not your mind. It says, For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So those of you that are joining right now, you may think that everything is okay. But wouldn't it be a, a shame that when that day comes and you stand before the Lord, and He says, Depart from me, you worker of iniquity. I never knew you. You see, many people don't understand the plan of salvation, and many people don't understand how important it is to make your life right with Christ. And I'm going to take this time right now that, you know, I, I, and I'm praying that uh, through the Internet at some point, day or night, someone's watching this. And I'm praying that God places you under conviction and lets you see 
that without being born again, you're not going to see the kingdom of God and you're not going to enter the kingdom of God. John chapter 3, he tells you you can't see it or you're not going to enter it except you be born again. Now, you've already got halfway there. You've been born of the flesh, but you've got to also be born of the Spirit. So you're halfway there. All you have to do is surrender and deny your flesh, accept Christ Jesus, and ask Him to forgive you and come into your heart. I'm going to say a simple sinner's prayer, and if the Lord's dealing with you, I want you to say this prayer with me. Would you bow your head, please? Father God, I come before you today in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I am a sinner. I ask you, Father, to forgive my sins. Place them under the blood of Jesus. For I believe in my heart, and I'm confessing with my mouth, that Jesus is the Son of God, and that you raised him from the dead. And this moment, right now, I invite Jesus Christ to come into my heart, to cleanse me of all sin, to be my Savior, to be Lord of my life. And I ask you, Father, to write my name in the Lamb's book of life, and seal me with the Holy Ghost of promise until the day of redemption. For I ask this in Jesus Christ's holy name. Amen. If you said that prayer, we'd like to hear from you. There's a phone number there on the screen that you can call or you can write to us. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to send you a couple of books, the Gospel of St. John and also a book, Welcome to My New Beginning. It's yours absolutely free if you'll just write us and tell us. I just asked Jesus Christ into my heart. I've given my life to Him. You need to get in a good church that teaches the truth, preaches the truth. You need to be baptized, and you need to really get into the Word and start serving the Lord. God bless you.